Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, please click on like and subscribe. Please take a second, drop a comment below. Let me know what you like about the video, what you don't like about the video, what you think I'm doing right or wrong. This video will be taking a piece of walnut and turning it into a nice tray like this one. Now this video I will be using some tools that um, some people may not have. They're more of an entry level uh, CMC machine, label planer, and a few other tools like that. Now I want my tray to be 9 by 7 and 3 quarter inches thick. So I picked this piece of wood here out. Um, I can tell which way my grain is going, of course. Uh, you can see there's a little wobble in the board. So what I've got to do is I've got to plane the wobble out. Now if you don't have a planer, you can sand this out or find you a nice flat piece of wood. Uh, the wood is actually almost an inch thick, so it gives me room to plane it down and make it nice and flat. So what I want to do is cut this down uh, to where it's a little bit more manageable. I want it to be just about an inch bigger than my project. So I'm gonna go 10 by eight with the board. And that gives me room to put it in the CNC and actually have the CNC machine cut around the edge. So I've got a nice thin edge. You don't have to do this. You could cut the inside out and put it on a table saw or something like that and actually cut your edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the edges off my board here. So I've got a nice clean surface to work with. Now it doesn't have to be 100% perfect since I'm using the CNC machine to actually cut the outside edge of the tray out. Um, realistically, you don't even have to do this part. You could just plane it down. Uh, it's just a habit of mine to get used to making the wood surface a little bit better to use. Now, once I'm done cutting the width off, I'm going to take it over to the chop saw and just chop my ends off. So, again, I've got nice clean surfaces to work with. Uh, that'll let me see the grain better. And when I go to put it in my planer, I'll be able to see um, any major humps or imperfections in the wood. Now this is the part of the video where I'll probably get some hate comments, but either way, this is how I'm doing it. As you can see here, there's a slight hump right here. It's hard to tell on the camera, but there's a hump on there. I'm going to run this through the planer. When I do this, most people would say put it on a slid, put some shims underneath of it, keep the surface flat. Um, that way you end up with a nice clean surface. I'm making a small tray out of this. I'm going to take off small, thin pieces of it at a time, and I'll end up with pretty much the same result. Will it be 1000% perfect? No. But will it get the job done? Yes. Once I've got my imperfection flattened out, I'm going to take my planer, set it to three quarters of an inch, and go ahead and plane my board down to the size I want. Now this is a Jinmitsu 4030 uh, CNC machine. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this. I've had this for about three months now, and it seems to do a great job on all this stuff. Now this is another part of the video where people will drop in the comments that I'm not doing this part correctly. This works for me, and since I'm cutting from edge to edge, instead of taking clamps and clamping this down to my flat surface, I'm going to glue it down with CA glue. It holds it in place. It's perfectly fine. You just have to be careful that wherever your small pieces get cut off at, it is glued, because if not, it'll get bound up in your router, and it can shoot pieces out, or it could actually break your project. And roughly an hour later, you'll have your project cut out of your CNC. Now, I used to do these by hand. I did not put the angle bevel in there. I built a jig for it. I just used a router and routed it out by hand. So you do not need a CNC to do this tray. It just is a whole lot easier. After it's finished, I'm gonna take a putty knife, slide it in between the two layers of tape and just pry up gently. Don't pry up hard because you don't wanna mess up your bottom surface. And once you get it going, it just will pop right up off the table. Then you peel the tape off the back of it, peel the tape off the uh, tabletop and you're ready to go again. Now for everybody's favorite part of the project, sanding. And depending on your CNC machine and your cut settings, I've rough cut it. I did not finish cut it, so I've got a lot of fine lines in mine I've got to get out. But it takes the CNC machine four times as long to get a finished cut. And it's just easier for me to sand this stuff out versus putting it on a finished cut. I'm just doing a little eighth inch round over on the top of it just to smooth it out a little bit to make it look nicer. Uh, you can do the bottom edge if you want to also. I usually leave the bottom straight and just round over the top. After that, I'm just going to sit down. I'm going to sand it again for probably another 15-20 minutes just to finish getting it nice and smooth. After that, technically the project is done. I'm going to go ahead and wax this, but you could also engrave it. You could laser engrave it. You could put it on your CNC and engrave it. You could paint it and do whatever you want to it. Uh, from this point out, but I'm going to go ahead and put wax on it and list it as it is and then I can go back in laser and then engrave whatever somebody wants on the board. Once I put a coat of wax on, I'm going to wait about 10 minutes, then I'm going to take a microfiber towel and I'm just going to towel it off 
and make sure it all got covered well. Check for any blemishes I want to get rid of. Might have to go back in and touch something up if you miss something, but for the most part, the tray is done. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please click on like and subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to drop comments below.